reaction 10. In this reaction scheme below, solutions P and Q are involved in some reactions. So when we are given a reaction scheme, the first step is to identify any gases. Okay, then step two, identify the cations or the add ions. Okay, so in this case, there's no uh, gases to be identified. Then we can move on to step two. And we can see that the cation reagent equals ammonia is present. So let's recall there are two cation test reagents. One is aqueous ammonia and one is aqueous sodium hydroxide. So we need to identify uh, two of them. So reddish brown precipitate form. This tells us that it contains iron 3 plus ions. And the reddish brown precipitate will be iron 3 hydroxide. Okay. That's for cations. So this solution Q must have gone. Um, must contain iron 3 plus ion. So solution Q, iron 3. Therefore, the answer will be option B or option D. Then uh, we can we can look at the second row. So metal M react with a uh, solution P and it produces colorless combustible gas and pale green solution. So from the option given, this means that solution P must be a acid. So this reaction between metal M must be a acid and metal reaction to produce hydrogen gas, which is this colorless combustible gas and pale green solution which is the salt. So uh, most likely, if we look at the color of the solution, this salt solution will contain the Fe2 plus ion. Okay? And therefore, when it reacted with uh, Cl2, so what is Cl2? So in the chapter of uh, redox, Cl2 halogens, they are oxidizing, they are acting as an oxidizing agent. So in this case, uh, Cl2 is oxidizing the Fe2 plus containing solutions to a Fe3 plus containing solution. Okay, so this confirmed that uh, the reddish brown solution is Fe3 plus. Then now, how do, I, how do we know what is the identity of the uh, solution P? So we need to look at the, since all acid will contain, the definition of acid is that it dissolves in water to produce H plus ion. So all acid will contain H plus ion. So what will, uh, how do we identify the different acid? It will based on the anion. So we can see here that aqueous barium nitrate is a anion test reagent. And what kind of anion does it test for? It tests for sulfate anion. And we can see that a white precipitate form, which is barium sulfate. And therefore, this will tell us that solution P must have con uh, must con uh, the salt solution must contain sulfate. So the pale green solution is iron two sulfate. This means that solution P must also contain sulfate ion. And which acid contains sulfate ion, then it must the answer must be option B, which is sulfuric acid.